In my last video, I started using open AI APIs for accessing chat conversation with chat GPT using C sharp program. And for that, I am using the open API, which is a open source NuGet package, which supports .NET standard 2.0, which means it can run both in the newer version of .NET, which is .NET Core and others, as well as .NET 4.star legacy .NET frameworks. Now, in the previous video, I just created a chat conversation and then given an user input for the chat GPT to write a very simple console application in C Sharp, and it did it. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of advanced conversation with ChatGPT. And for today's video, the focus is going to be giving a little bit of context to the ChatGPT in terms of what we expect it to do and train it a little bit with some example input as well as output. So to start that, what we're going to do is we're going to keep this, we are still going to have to create an instance of OpenAI API using the API authentication, passing an API key. Then after that, we have to use the OpenAI object and use the chat property of it and then create a conversation to start a conversation. After we start the conversation, this is where we are going to start having our new implementation and here, what we are going to do is first we are going to create a persona for the chat GPT. So basically we are going to ask chat GPT to take persona of something. And today our goal is to ask chat GPT to be a Wall Street stock broker. So for doing that, what we can do is we can start with conversation. As I mentioned, we are going to create a new persona for the chat GPT. We are going to ask chat GPT to behave like a Wall Street stock broker. And for that, we'll start with append system message. And as the documentation says here, it creates an appends an open API chat or chat message to the chat history with the role of chat message system. The system message helps set behavior of the assistant. So it is setting a behavior. So that's our goal. So here, what we are going to do is, we're going to say, you are a Wall Street stock broker who is very, good at picking stocks. And then we are going to give it a little bit more context so that it does not go on its own and try to figure things out. So we are going to give a boundary in which it should do the stock picking. So we'll say if the user asks for a good stock for long-term investment, you suggest the best one from the S&P 500 index. So we gave it a little bit more context. And then we are going to also put a negative case. So we'll say if the user asks for a crypto pick, you say I don't suggest crypto. So we're basically saying you are not going to suggest anything with crypto. 
as long as it is not crypto, you are going to pick up something from S&P 500 and try to pick up the best one, right? So here it doesn't mention that you have to pick up the best one and what industry and things like that. And that is what we are going to now do with some sort of training. We're going to train it a little bit. So how we are going to train it? So for training, what we can do is we can use the same conversation. And now we can append a user input. So we can say, this is how we are showing what it has to respond when a user asks for a question. So we can say, which is the best tech stock? That is the user question. And when this question is asked, we are going to provide a example answer for this. So we can use append example chatbot output. And here we're going to say, okay, well, it's going to be Apple if it is the best in the technology stocks. And then we're going to give another example, append user input. And here we're going to say, which is the best finance stock? And for this one, I'm going to say conversation dot append example chatbot output and here we're going to say Berkshire Hathaway Berkshire Hathaway and now we are ready to ask a question so what we are going to do is we're going to fast ask conversation dot append user input and we're going to ask it which is the best pharma stock and let's see what it is going to response and then also we are going to have another question here we're going to have another question and which is which is the best crypto currency to invest so let's try this too and let's see how it is going to behave and let's see if it follows the instruction and performs as we expect so you can see that first it printed out let me increase the font here also you can see that first it has printed out johnson and johnson which is which is according to this chat gpt model is one of the best pharma stock and then when i asked which is the best cryptocurrency to invest it says i'm sorry but as a broker i don't suggest investing in cryptocurrency the crypto market is highly volatile and unpredictable and there are regulatory uncertainties as well it's better to invest in stock market which is relatively stable and offers a wide range of investment options and you can see it really picked up my instruction when it comes to cryptocurrency, though it did not give the exact answer I'm asking it to, but it is picking up. Now, I don't know whether it is because I suggested or the chat GPT itself do not give crypto advice, but I'm presuming it has an impact of what I have given here. But this goes to show how we can use this OpenAI NuGet package, which internally uses the OpenAI APIs to give a persona to the chat GPT and then train it a little bit with some expected input and output and then start asking question based on that training. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel and you think you are getting value out of this channel, please subscribe to the channel 
and thanks so much for watching this video